So we're going to start off tonight with the first category, which is animation. Now, the animation jury described the standard of this year's work as staggeringly superb. Not very good grammar, but they probably had a couple of glasses of white wine. <laughs> And again, having seen all uh, the nominations here, they're absolutely right. Wait till you see this. They're out of, absolutely out of uh, this world. Um, such was the quality and offer that they actually wanted to tell you that they had a very, very hard time distinguishing an outright winner. It was an incredibly difficult decision. There's three nominations in this category. Let's take a look at this highly innovative new work within the medium of animation. This particular time, I remember we got out into the car and um, and uh, we got in and we were kind of talking about what we were going to do and um, that day and we were driving away and uh, Oliver from the back seat, he was sitting in the back because I was the older brother and I got to sit in the passenger seat next to dad and be older and um, Ollie from the back seat said, uh, and maybe if we're good, we can have a toy. And um, Dad said, Oliver, it's not about being bought toys. It's about us spending time together. And then I, for some reason, decided that I should turn around and add, yeah, Oliver, it's not about us being bought things. It's about us spending time together and then turned back round. It's your choice. You can let me in, or I can let myself in. Look like William Hague. And the winner of those three amazing films, it's about spending time together. <laughs> Um, oh God, I was so certain, I was so certain that I wasn't going to be standing here. That Have you seen Anna and Paul's films? They're fucking brilliant. Um, <laughs> there goes shit, the language. I was so sure, I was so sure that I didn't even think about what I would say when I was going to get here, but now I'm in the studio and everybody's looking at me. Um, uh, ECA, the department, is such a, a joy to be in. Um, thank you to Donald and Jared and... Alan and Neil and um, God, 
And all my classmates, um, Claire and Anna and Becky and Kate and uh, Abby and everybody and Will and Kat and... Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, thank you to all my pals there. This is... I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked. But I'm so thrilled as well um, and so grateful. I can't wait to tell Oliver. He's going to be thrilled and he might forgive me in the end. It's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Now, onto our second award tonight, the coveted Best Actor Stroke Actress. There is no gender separation in BAFTA New Talent, I tell you. Yeah, yeah. Now, Scottish Acting Talent has recently enjoyed tons of success. Obviously, we are really rocking. Talk about punching above our weight. We've got Kelly McDonald in Boardwalk, Kevin McKay's in Grey's Anatomy, and I love Bobby Carlyle in Stargate. Anyone in this life? I may say that out loud. Maybe I'm alone in that one. Anyway, so who are the next starlets ready to take the world by storm? Let's take a look at the nominations. That was close. Too close. You got the green. Oh, that's just fucking peachy, Raymond. I told you we should have left it. Look, it's not my fault. Aye, it is. It's all your fault, you greedy bastard. You just can't help yourself, can you? What you do that for? Paul! Paul! Hi, Mel. Oh, my God! Yeah! What the hell are you doing? Just a bit of horsing around. Ho -ho. We're supposed to be a couple. We're supposed to be getting married. What are you doing with a 19-year-old <laughs> naked stable boy on your back? Look here, you see, Mel, you can't... You think your family aren't going to notice that the stable boy can pick you out of a naked lineup by your birthmarks? How could you do this to me, Fitzgerald? You're supposed to be planning our wedding! You're supposed to be in love with me! <laughs> what I meant to say was, you're supposed to appear like you're in love with me. <clears throat> I think you better get off, Derek. <laughs> Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> and the winner is Lynn Murray for falling for Fitzgerald. Thank you very much. Um, I prepared my speech. Um, First, let me say I'd like to take the time to thank 
BAFTA and everyone involved in creating awards where new talent is recognised in Scotland and for allowing me to be here this evening. If I'm honest, I was just so happy to find out that I'd even been nominated, especially alongside such talented people. I knew that no matter what happened tonight, regardless of whether I received an award or not, I'd walk away feeling very happy and proud to have been a part of something like this. So to stand here now with the BAFTA Scotland New Talent Award for Best Actress is such an amazing honour. Um, I'm so glad it's for the film Falling for Fitzgerald as well, because from start to finish, I just loved every minute of it. It was an experience to remember, and I definitely wouldn't be accepting this award tonight were it not for the crew, my fellow brilliant actors, and last but not least, the writer and director, Amy Hawes. Amy, I just wanted to thank you for taking a chance on me that day. I auditioned for you in the living room um, for being so enthusiastic and encouraging on set, and finally for filling in the application for BAFTA New Talent on my behalf. Um, I just simply wouldn't be standing here without you, so thank you, and thank you all again. Thanks. Well done, Claire. Absolutely fantastic. Well, our third award this evening is for Director of Photography. Now, the role of Director of Photography, or Cinephotographer, as it's also known, or DOP, um, they, it's their job to provide a film or programme with its unique visual identity and photographic heart. It's also, if you're a director, the person who takes six hours to light a banana. <laughs> and you lose your temper with them and then you go into the edit and you love the fact that the banana looks so brilliant. You cannot do without them. It's an amazing art. So let's take a look at the three nominees who have done just that to a banana. <laughs> Just what you take care in the snow. Oh, I would do. Yeah. 
maybe have to straighten it up a wee bit, come over this way. Um, have you got a shovel? Three beautiful, beautiful pieces of work there. But the winner is Hacken passing for No More Shall We Part. Thanks to the cast and crew who are all here because they're really, really, really excited as we have all been through this whole thing. Uh, never thought I'd end up getting anything like this, which is awesome. Big old thanks to Sean as well, who is an amazing director. I can't wait to work with him again really, really, really soon. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, absolutely great. This gets better and better. Right, fourth on the list of awards this evening is the incredibly important behind the camera category editor. Oh, so important. Now, the bedrock of post production presses, editors obviously work with directors to creatively determine the way that narratives unfold and develop. You know all of that. They also eat loads and loads of biscuits. So, let's take a look at tonight at the nominees for best editor. He was, he was lovely, I absolutely adored him, but he wasn't comfortable. Children loved him, but he actually wasn't comfortable in, with children. Um, but for my mother, it was a question of, it was a thing to do, and she was determined to have a boy and a girl, her pigeon pair, so that she could fit in with everybody else. I don't think my father would have perhaps been able to deal with a question like that. I think I realised that he was a very sensitive man and that he wasn't the right person to ask questions to. You know, my mother was the dominant one and, and I felt you know, she was the one that held the keys. You know, she always seemed to be the one that was in control, who'd made the decisions. She's no back to the Mora, you could easily have a party. Are you deaf? I said no. Now shut the fuck up about parties and build a joint. What? Oh. What? I forgot to buy your skins. You're a fucking nightmare. Will it be alright? Why not be enough for now? We end up fucking muntered. Moi.
and the winner is Johanna Heralds for the Taxidermist. <laughs> <laughs> well, two years ago, I was in Finland uh, filling an Erasmus application and I didn't have any idea where it's going to lead me to. Here I am. Uh, thank you, BAFTA Scotland. This is absolutely brilliant. This is out of my wildest dreams. Thank you, uh, the Royal Conservatory of Scotland, for giving me this opportunity to study in such a fantastic department. Thank you, Adam McElwain, head of department, digital, digital television film department. Uh, you're a bri brilliant teacher. Uh, you guided me through the whole year. Uh, thanks my classmates, family, uh, everyone, and the director of the taxidermist. It was brilliant to work on such great film with such a great friend. Thank you. So eat your heart out, Kate Winslet. <laughs> <laughs> I love this job, this is the best job ever. <laughs> now, uh, next up is the very coveted award for Factual, over 30 minutes. The Factual programmes are really at the heart of the industry in Scotland, they really are. There's hundreds of hours of Factual television produced here each year, we're amazing at it. And it's a genre that's so hungry for new ideas, it's so hungry for new ideas. I'll give you my card later. Um, and I'm delighted to say we've got two categories for this Factual content, so let's have a look at the nominees who've made Factual work over 30 minutes. To be counted as a threat to a tyrant is a matter of pride, I would say. It means we're effective, it means we're relevant. It means out of this very small office, we produce work uh, that, that threatens regimes. Jean Sharp's tactics and, and, um, and, and theories are being practiced on the streets of Syria as we speak now. It shows that what Jean was talking about year after year after year, there are realistic alternatives to violent conflict. Unless they have something instead of violence and war, they will go back for violence and war every time. Well, like, I don't know about you, but when I like think about breast cancer, I know it sounds horrible, but I think of like 50-year-old women. Exactly. Like... It's the same with me, so did I, until it all occurred in my family. Mm. Then it was like, actually, no, maybe I could yeah. be 21 having breast cancer. And like, yeah, the fact that your cousin had cancer at 21, really? so... Horrible. I need to get myself like a little handy assistant to trot around with me and carry on my quest for me. <laughs> Do you find that there's a, you're maybe a bit more shy when you're like dating and stuff? I'm very honest when I kind of go on dates mm. and it eventually gets to the stage of kind of you're in, about to enter a relationship. So mm. I am truthful and I do tell them, but I've never had anyone react badly or anything. مأساة بارفة اليوم غيرت تاريخ اليمن إلى الأبد الأنوار ما راح شي ما راح شي هدر أنوار راح وزملاء فجروا ثورة عاد مش هتقدر أتفرج على ابني وهو في هذه الحالة أديله من اللحم هذا لكن ما شي 
ما عادش الإيمان الأكبر بالقضية والمبدأ والهدف والثبات على الموقف جاء من بعد ذلك اليوم استحالة الرجوع عن ما بدأنا جاء من بعد ذلك اليوم And the winner is How to Start a Revolution. Uh, that's absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm absolutely stunned. Um, thank you, BAFTA Scotland. Um, it's incredibly um, amazing as well, considering the company that we're in, both of those other films that you just saw were absolutely amazing. And what I also think is incredible, actually in this year of um, 2011 of Revolutions, that two such important historic, historical films should have come out of Scotland from um, new talent in Scotland is, is, is fantastic. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who worked on the film, especially um, Callan Watt. Um, <laughs> when, uh, many of, uh, uh, much of this film was made from my kitchen table in Inverness. And uh, I was at my wit's end when Callan came up and decided that we would have to sort the whole thing out with post-it notes. Uh, and that's really, actually, what kind of sorted it all, sorted it all out. Um, I'd also like to thank um, Jean Sharp and Jamila Rakib for, for letting me into what was a very um, incredible world and, and one that's very difficult to access. And also, the last thing that's very special about this film is that people living under dictatorships all over the world are using it as a teaching tool and right now, very brave people are smuggling into countries um, who, where the dictatorship is clamping down on freedom of expression. So one day, hopefully, you'll see um, revolutionary movements who will say that they were inspired in part by Gene Sharp's work and perhaps even this film. So thank you very, very much for um, this fantastic award. Stuff. Now let's see the nominations for uh, works of uh, factual work under 30 minutes. You just need to build up your confidence and go for it really. You usually meet the same people uh, in Bucky and then if you were in a big city there probably would be New folk coming out of town. Bucca is quite a small town, well, historic fishing village. Uh, so, it's like everybody knows someone if you're in a small town. You know something about someone. So, you could change one big mistake that you made in your life, what would it be? Well, one big mistake would be school. I uh, messed up, left in about second year and I was really stuck for a while trying to find like a job and trying to get some other form of education. Fantastic dart player. Fantastic person as well. Who was a fantastic dart player? Cut. Chuck Cut. Wilson. Of course he was. Fucking rubbish. And the ships arriving from France were searched. They were afraid that the, the painting was already uh, taken abroad. She was in Russia, Australia, Canada, America, everywhere. And that, of course, is very much, I think, how she came to be so familiar to us now. 
She was a kind of global addition. When the news of the, the disappearance of the Mother Lisa broke out, I mean, the world realized how poor uh, was the security inside the, the Louvre Museum. A few years ago, a man hid overnight in an Egyptian sarcophagus. You know what? Not one person noticed. No one. The guards here are appointed by the Ministry of War. You'd think they'd know something about security. What a joke. Those decrepit old soldiers couldn't catch a cold. Never mind a thief. And the winner is Kirkcaldy Man. <laughs> Thanks to the jury, thanks to everybody in Kirkcaldy, without who this film wouldn't have happened because they were so kind to speak to me. Um, and thank you very much to Emma Davy from the Edinburgh College of Art. This shows, it's a bigger picture frame than last year actually. <laughs> this shows uh, that all our hard work and uh, trust she puts into our students pays off. And thank you also to Noe Mendel and Johnny Murray, who's here somewhere, for supporting the film along the way. Thank you to the Scottish Documentary Institute for supporting Hello. Scottish documentary filmmakers. Thank you, Finlay, <laughs> who's here somewhere. And thank you to my wife for supporting me in making all these films without earning any money with it. And thank you very much for uh, to Jockey for being Jockey Wilson. It's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Jockey Wilson. <laughs> We're now coming to the next award, which is for fiction under 30 minutes, uh, or in other words, a short film. There's a real short film revolution going on just now. Years ago, in order to see one, you had to go to festivals or you know, try and get it on DVD. But of course, now just click on YouTube and there's thousands. So the competition is fierce, which is why it makes uh, our nominees tonight really special, because they're so innovative and wonderful. Um, let's have a look at the nominees for fiction under 30 minutes. Constable, get out that door. Okay, get pushed out the door. One, two, body, body, okay? Two, body, body. Come on, but when you hit them, watch your face, okay? You have to fight, fight, and fight hard, right?
and the winner is Rabbit Punch. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, We're a team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you very much to um, BAFTA Scotland. Uh, it was um, amazing to be nominated. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this great privilege of, of being here. And thank you very much for the other nominees. That Those films are amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to see those, the taxidermist so much. That looks incredible. And uh, Thank you so much to uh, my girlfriend, Arpita Shaw, who's put up with uh, all my bullshits <laughs> all the way through this. Uh, thank you so much to my producers, Sarah and Stu, who've also put up with all my bullshits <laughs> through the production of this film. Um, thank you so much to my amazing cast, uh, Ryan and Scott, who worked tirelessly hard uh, for this film. Uh, my editor, Dave Arthur, uh, all my crew, thank you so much. It's amazing. Thing. I'm very privileged. Thank you. Thanks very much, guys. Brilliant. On to our eighth award, and this is for best game, because Scotland's game industry is continuing to grow and enjoy international reputation for innovation and productivity. It really, it rocks right now. It's amazing. We're a tiny country. We make lots of amazing games. Um, so let's have a look at the nominations for our best game. And the winner is Sculpty. So, uh, so we don't have a, a speech ready or anything, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, it's totally awesome. We'd like to thank, there's actually five of us who made the game. Um, one of us is in India at the moment, because he's Indian, and uh, the other guy's in England, because he's English. Uh, so um, he's French, but he's in Scotland. So we're all here and it's great. So thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, that brings us on to our ninth award, which is for original music. Uh, now, the script says, music can add so much to the atmosphere and mood of a story, helping to take the audience on a journey of emotions and complementing the pace of that journey. We know that. It's just like, it can ruin a film, it can make a film. Imagine if Spielberg had asked Skrillex to do War Horse. Anyway, we have got great uh, nominations for you. Here's the three nominations for original music. Once upon a time, Once upon a time, in a big dark wood, in a big dark wood, try it again, in a big dark wood, that's it, there lived a big bird, what's this word to you? Um, don't know. Come on darling, you know this word. 
I don't like his story, Granny. Yes, you do. It's your favourite. Who lived in the big dark wood? That book you wanted arrived. Beautiful, beautiful. And the winner is Gareth Griffiths for an interrupted story. And now I finally know why everybody was doing this when they came up here. Those lights are bright. Um, this is a bit of a surprise. Um, Big thanks go to Anya, the animator and director of the project, which is just, she's amazingly um, hardworking and talented at the same time. And um, this is all down to her. I didn't even know until last week um, that it had even been submitted until I found out that I got a nomination. So this is just a bit ridiculous that I'm actually up here looking at you now. But um, other than that, I think special thanks goes and then um, credit should go to Pete Smith, uh, who did the sound design um, on our short, short animation. Um, he did an absolutely wonderful job, and then um, sound design something that's that's you know it's on it's only really noticeable if it's done badly. And I think he's an exception to the rule there. He um, did some really excellent work. It's really noticeable. So maybe next year we can have an award for sound design. As well. uh, but thank you very much. Oh, right, uh, this brings us to award number 10, which is close to my heart, writer. Because uh, writers really matter. There's no film without the writer, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, did I say that out loud? <laughs> because you were talking about clips there, and they said, well, there's no talking, I go, the writer is responsible for the whole thing. They write the scenes, sometimes they write the camera directions. I'm not really bitter about it at all. We have fantastic nominations, wonderful writers in this country. We punch way above our weight. Let's look at the nominees. ask you a personal question. Well, it depends what it is. He was a violent man. 
He was a good man deep down. Is that why you... What? What do you want to know? Why I stayed? He wasn't always like that, you know. You know nothing about us. How dare you? How dare you come into my home and start judging me? Sorry, Susan, sorry. Look, why don't I ditch the have-a-go hero bit and write about how things sort of have a way of working themselves out in the end? <gasps> well, you really think that things are better now? It's not hurting you anymore. It still hurts. Every time I look at him, he hurts me. Dobre. Co to ma być? Pani spojrzy. Takie rzeczy nie można robić. Pani już oszalała, kurde, czy co? Proszę. Pieniądze proszę mi zwrócić. Już. Do widzenia. Do Mariana. Any problem? Better things to do, anyhow. Eh? Mikey, please help me. Do the work. Mike. Thank you. Anything for a friend. We really need to get all these people out of our country, don't we? I couldn't agree with you more. You look much better without you. <laughs> and the winner is Agatha Jagodinska for Secret of Confession. Amazing. Thank you very much. Um, I'll try not to cry. <laughs> oh, go on. Um, two years ago, I didn't even think about making films, but today I can't think about doing anything else. And um, that would not have happened if it wouldn't be for two of the most inspiring and challenging people that I've ever met, which is Graham Drysdale and Walid Salhap. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. I would never be here without you. And um, I would also like to thank my lovely partner, Jamie, and my family for supporting me throughout the whole time and um, helping me get to where I am right now. Thank you. Lovely. Now, this brings us to the best new work. It's the final award tonight, and it's an all-encompassing all one. I have to explain it a bit. It's sponsored by Channel 4, and this is how it works. All of the screen juries were asked to nominate one entry from their final shortlist of three to go forward to be viewed by a final best new work jury. Not necessarily the winning one, but anyone uh, from the three nominations that they'd picked. 
Then they had to pick one entry uh, which they thought was truly outstanding. So there's no nominees for this final award, just one winner because it's already been decided. So I'd now like to invite uh, Ian McKenzie, the Media Project Manager from Creative Diversity at Channel 4, to present this final award. Ian. Uh, thank you very much, Muriel. Uh, folks, I have to admit to being, I've worked in the industry a little while. I'm a bit starstruck meeting Muriel Gray. She made uh, going up Monroe's cool when I was a wee boy, so <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that backfired, never mind. Um, <laughs> meant to be a compliment. Um, thanks very much for having me along. Channel 4 is committed to finding and working with the best new talent in companies across the UK and, of course, uh, right here in Scotland. We're really delighted and proud to be supporting tonight's award for Best New Work. Uh, and I know Mira's already covered this, but I would like to say that the jury uh, basically uh, didn't just instruct me, insisted that uh, I do just take time to say they were hugely impressed by, by all the work that they had to view. Not ever an easy decision, uh, but they were very happy with what they came to as a decision in the end. Now, very quick plug, uh, at 12.05 a.m., tonight or tomorrow, uh, Channel 4 relaunches the shooting gallery. Now this is a themed late night strand uh, for the best short, uh, short film work by new and emergent talent across the UK, uh, commissioned and acquired by Channel 4. Uh, the strand has actually been on Channel 4 before, uh, way back in the mid 1990s, uh, and it gave first commissions to some pretty important people who are, are applying their trade elsewhere in the industry now, the likes of Shane Meadows, uh, Cleo Barnard and uh, our very own adopted Scott, Annie Griffin. Uh, so I hope that many of the young people, and well, uh, sorry, not young people, I hope that any of the new talent in the room here tonight who are already creating clearly fantastic content uh, will see their work up there soon. So uh, I, I understand there is an after party, so if you can't tune in, try and record it or like it on Facebook or something and just hopefully be inspired. So without further ado, the winner of the Bafton Scotland's New Talent Award for Best New Work is... Anna Ginsberg for How Can You Swallow So Much Sleep? I'm completely overwhelmed. I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> Um, it was an honour being nominated alongside Ainsley Henderson and Paul Rice within my category, who are both great friends within ECA. <laughs> um, thank you to everyone from ECA for being there for me consistently. Uh, thanks especially to Daisy Aziz, a brilliant costume designer who made a tiny costume, um, and to Archie Stewart <laughs> building all the beautiful wooden stuff you might see. Um, and also, <laughs> also thank you to my mum for coming all the way up from London to be here and for supporting me throughout. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, you're now going to get a great treat because we're going to have a look at that new work in its entirety.
gorgeous. Well, that just wraps up tonight. I just want to say thank you so much for being so bloody brilliant early. Absolutely amazing. Congratulations to the winner. Congratulations to the nominees as well. As I say, you're BAFTA nominated for the rest of your career. Thanks for being brilliant. Have a brilliant night and well done. Yeah.